Okay, we're still down here in Madison on Adventures of Real Estate today. So this is 815 West 2nd Street. And uh, do I have a project for you? Um, definitely a handyman special. Um, they, <laughs> you'll see why I'll laugh here in a minute. So this is listed as two bedroom, two bath. Um, and you'll see why I laughed when we go inside. So this is 815, 817 West 2nd Street. It's currently on the market for $165,000. Um, again, $165,000. Um, and it is a project. So we're down here, um, if you've watched the other videos, um, <coughs> we're down here on the lower down river corner of Madison. And I'll flip the camera around here and just kind of give you a, a panoram of, uh, this is the building though we're going into here momentarily. So we'll flip the camera around here and get a look of West 2nd Street. Okay, so this is West, <clears throat> this is 2nd Street. So this is the lower section of Madison, the, the low, lower portion of downtown area, down river. <clears throat> and by far the nicest part of Madison. Um, this is where the highest property values are. Um, just a really nice segment of Madison. Um, the Lanier Mansion's up here, short, just up here to the right. Um, the river is just a block down that way, two blocks down that way. Um, just a nice section of Madison. So, well, it's, everything down here is really well taken care of. There's not really a bad house down here very very few <clears throat> very few and then as they get gobbled up so here we got eight eight fifteen and eight seventeen um so it's a duplex uh, there's this is the only way i'm going to get the handsome real estate agent in the picture for sure today in this building is to get in the windows because as you can see this is a project and when i mean project I mean project. This is an empty shell. So, um, definitely, I mean, it's, it's, it's a blank slate, really. I mean, it's, it's just ready, it's ready to do whatever you want to do to it. Um, they did add some windows to the back. I would probably have done an addition off the back. Um, so, but there's been there's been quite a bit of work done. Um, I mean, you can even see they redid the foundation here, restacked some block down there, dug all that out and put it, you know, um, put that in there. I'm just going to point this out. It always amazes me these old houses. Like, so you can see the hand hand hewed beam. See this? I mean, this is but this was that was cut out with an ads at some point in time. Somebody cut this square by hand, and as you can see. I mean, this has been here for a hundred years, right? A hundred years plus, probably. A hundred years plus. Uh, they had to replace the foundation underneath of it. And that piece of wood is still rock hard. I mean, I just they don't make trees the way they used to. I mean, look at the difference between this is a modern 2x4, this is a hundred year old two by four. I mean, these things are just tanks. Um, so there was a little bit of rot there in the corner. You can see where they've rebuilt this whole corner here all the way up. So this whole corner here has been rebuilt more than likely. If I had to guess, there was probably a gutter that had failed and was dumping, the downspout was probably dumping straight onto the, um, the side of the house for God knows how many years. Um, so again, it's a blank slate. I mean, so we were looking at this this beam here earlier. Um, you know, that's that's literally a tree for the most part. Um, where it's what is that? An eight by six, probably. I mean, uh, it's just massive. You know, so everything was true dimensional lumber. You know, these are true i mean i don't even think they were two by four or something i don't even know exactly what that is you know maybe a two and a half by four and a half or something it's, it's yeah back when they made stuff so but uh here's the floor plan i mean there's there is a dividing wall 
Um, there's a chimney here. Um, it would be a lot of work, but if it was my two cents, I would, uh, I don't know. I'd probably at least take the chimneys down to the first floor. Um, just cause I mean, what are you going to do with them? I mean, they're, they're not even, they're not overly, um, let's see. I mean this, so this one here could, you know, it's somewhat structural at this point, but you could definitely take the upper chimney down. Um, and it's just the steps. I mean, you, it's, it's a blank slate, so you could put the steps anywhere you want. They don't have to be here. You can recut in a stairwell, um, anywhere you could put two stairwells in. So right now the current setup is this half of the house has access to the second floor. Um, but if you wanted to, you could put in, I would probably integrate two stairwells back to back, you know, one going up to the right, one going up to the left. That way both sides have access to their half of the house, right? Um, no, wait a minute. This, it actually had two stairwells. I didn't notice this before. There was another stairwell right here. Look at that. How did we miss that before? So there was a whole nother stairwell right here. So you could totally, yeah, okay, that makes complete sense. So anyway, yeah, get up in here. Um, there's a good two bedrooms up here without a problem. Um, this has got an opening where there, yeah, it looks like that. That actually was opened up. There was probably a, a joist there. Um, if one wanted to, they could take these chimneys down to the second floor like I was talking about earlier. But they're really not in the way of the floor plan. So, I mean, you might just cover them up, take them down. The house, pro I mean, it's got a metal roof on it. It needs, I mean, it just needs to be a, a looked at. It might be in good condition. But as you can see... Through here, there's no eaves to speak of, really. And you can see the daylight, see the daylight shining through there. So why they didn't put an eave on the house and uh, get some gutters on it, I don't know. So this is the other side of the second floor. Basically, it's kind of a mirror of the, of the first side, but two bedrooms, so you'd have a stairwell here. Um, clients I just showed the house to, um, you know, we were discussing, say, Airbnb or something like that. Um, if I was to Airbnb, like if my, my two cents is I would do like two units, but have them connectable. Um, that way you could rent out the whole thing if you wanted to as a four, as a four bedroom unit. Um, that would be kind of cool, you know. May I think it would be a little bit more user, you know, user friendly that, or you know, more desirable to to rent out that way as a, a four bedroom. Um, but then you would have the option to have it be a two bedroom, you know. If somebody wanted a quick a quick rental, you know, if you didn't have it occupied, you wanted to, or if you wanted to rent out one side and use the other side for yourself for the weekend, you would have that option. So, but. uh We'll take a quick, a quick stroll around to the back. But like I said, as of, ugh, as of right now, um, it's a blank slate, you know? So, so the, the, all the exterior has been painted. The windows have been, all the side windows and back windows have been replaced. The front windows are still the, you know, authentic windows. Um, this is what I was talking about with the gutter, the, you can see that in the video. The roof just, I don't know, I would have, I don't know, I would have done something a little different. I don't know what, but that's, the roof definitely needs a little attention. It's got these really cute little uh, awnings coming out. Um, but here's the backyard. So it's got a nice sized backyard. I don't know what the uh, current owner's intention was here, if they were gonna do an addition. Um, does not look like it based on how they have the back of the house set up. But if it was me, I would have came out, you know, it came out with an addition um, or at least a porch, you know, have it a porch, you know, like a doors with the porch and have it come down. Um, 
Now the, the neighbor, the neighboring building there um, definitely needs somebody to take a little, take some care of it. I mean, it's, it's just really, really rough. Um, the trans, the substation is next to it there. Um, if there was an eyesore in the lower, this quarter of the downtown area, that's definitely it, is the substation. Um, but other than that, I mean, it's got a really nice backyard, really good size. Again, you're within a block or two of the river. You know, you just, this is an alleyway too, by the way. So, um, so you could access the back of the property um, with a vehicle, or you could even, if you wanted, get the permitting and the permits to put a garage off at the side. So you'd have two garage doors here, you know, if you wanted to do an addition. So, but to get an idea of where the back of the lot is. So here in the video, where's my finger? Where's my pointer? Um, there is, right there is the pin. So there's the yard. Good size, this tree here is on the property. So definitely, uh, definitely a neat, neat property. But it just, you just, this, from where it is, this is kind of the location, location, location kind of thing. So this is, you know, like I said, the most, one of the most desirable sections of, of downtown Madison. Is, I mean, my opinion, if I was to buy a house in Madison, and I couldn't get one of those up there looking over the river, I would want to be down here in this portion of 2nd Street, this portion down here. Definitely nice. So, well, this is Chris Powell again with RM Realty. And um, again, this was 815, 817 West 2nd Street in Madison, currently on the market for $175,000. Um, if you have any questions, give me a call. My cell phone number is 812-290-1403. Again, that was 812-290-1403. And this is, oh, or check us out online at rmrealty.com, A-U-R-U-M, Realty.com. Again, that was A-U-R-U-M, Realty.com. Have a great day.